Hi guys. I bought this little phone fan a little while back and used it to power a little car by plugging it into one of my mobile phones because that's what it's designed for. I can't use that because this isn't an iPhone. So it goes in that way round. And there we go. And that's all I bought it for. But quite a few people have commented that these are known as iPhone killers. And there's videos on YouTube of people managing to kill their iPhones with it. Well, fair enough, that may or may not be true. I don't know. Uh, the one I've just watched on YouTube isn't exactly the same as this one. It's actually got a permanent iPhone plug on it, whereas this one's got an adapter. But it looks very similar, so it may be the same thing. But I started wondering about this, whether there was anything in it that might infect your iPhone. Because the video I watched, the guy's iPhone started doing things all on its own. And you do hear things about um, USB rogue um, memory cards that once you plug them into your PC they stick a bit of code in there and hijack your PC for you or all your personal details. So that may or may not be true. But I thought it would be worth taking this apart anyway and just having a look to see if there's anything in here that could possibly store some code in it whether there's any sort of memory in there. Um, obviously it'll do nothing if it's just got uh, the power leads, the battery and earth, or positive and negative put through. But if there's anything that goes through to the data transmit and receive, then I guess it's potentially possible. I'm certainly no expert on that sort of thing, but I know how these um, panic videos go viral. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut this open and see if we can see what's in here. It's only a uh, sort of silicone -y rubber. I think what I'm going to have to go and do is desolder this just so we can pull this little circuit board off the back just so we can see on the other side of it. Because if I'm looking for some hidden um, memory card in there, I'm probably going to have to pull this apart, aren't I? So that's the five pins that go into the charger port on your phone. It should be the outside two are the positive and negative, the 5 volts that would normally be going into the phone and I'm guessing that they go from there to there. I'll go and get a meter. Right, back again. I've desoldered the motor off the circuit board. I've actually put a couple of wires on there so we can play with the motor separately. So looking at this, unless there's something hidden in the plastic here, I don't think we've got any hidden memory board. Right, so that wire there goes to there. Let's try the next one. Open circuit, next one, open circuit, try it to there. Right, that one's 
short circuit to there. Open circuit, open circuit, turn it over. to there, open circuit to that side, open circuit. So that one goes to there and that one goes to there. Right, one of the questions I did have was could we run an LED off it? So, well, what we could do is we could measure the voltage coming out, couldn't we? volts and can we run an LED off it why you would want to I don't know but and a green LED in opposite directions here so we can just test polarity. I think the question was really could you put a high powered LED on there and use it as a bright torch? Well you might be able to, but I'm not going to try and blow up my phone doing that. So what have we proved? Not a lot really. There's no obvious um, memory chip in there that's going to infect your phone. Although I say technically there could still be one buried in the plastic there. But I didn't um, managed to measure anything going across any of those pins. I think that's just paranoia. And the motor, uh, what have we got? I've got a battery there, put that back on there. So yeah, if you really wanted to, you could still use that motor. So that's what's inside anyway. Nothing that I can see that's going to cause you a problem, other than the simple fact that you're running the motor directly off the battery and earth in your phone or your battery. There's no protection here of any sort to stop that drawing too much current or if this goes faulty and short circuit whether that would cause a problem and that was measuring about 13 ohms wasn't that? Yeah, so the motor measures about 13 ohms Well, I hope that helps somebody who was panicking about these iPhone killers. That's what's inside, anyway. You're putting a motor, in this case, a 13-ohm motor across your battery and earth, or across your battery. <laughs>